reporting now a possible compromise that could end a tree protest all day. This woman has refused to climb down from this huge oak tree where she's sitting. This is in northwest Atlanta. Channel 2's Barrett Peterson is live on Cross Creek Parkway in Georgia Power. Barrett says it's now going to work with the condo association there. Yeah, that's right now. This lady has attracted quite the crowd out here. Georgia Power tree cutting true. They left. Atlanta police firefighters, they're long gone. But Jennifer Firestone is still up in that tree, and she's showing no signs of coming down. Jennifer Firestone says she's willing to go out on a limb to do what's right. Nobody wants to do this. Nobody wants to draw attention to this. Georgia Power doesn't want anyone to know that they're doing this. Firestone and her neighbors at Cross Creek Condos in northwest Atlanta are furious over a power company tree cutting project through their backyards. They're afraid they can't stop it. They give money to the judges. They give money to the, the legislature. They give money to everybody. So what would make anybody stand up for us besides ourselves right now? Which is why Firestone grabbed a ladder and staked a claim on an old oak she says was about to get the chainsaw. Police and firefighters tried to talk her down with no luck. The power company told Channel 2 the tree cutting is all connected to a multi-year infrastructure project that affects hundreds of thousands of customers, including Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport and the CDC. But Jennifer Firestone says chopping down stately old oaks is not the answer. It's just wrong, and they are George Power, so they do anything they want, unless somebody, unless communities put a stop to it and say they can't just cut down Uh, Georgia Power spokesperson says they're working with condo management, try to minimize the impact of the trees, but Jennifer Firestone's afraid that if she climbs down, they'll come in here and cut that tree down. Point Live Northwest Atlanta, Barrett Peterson, Channel 2 Action News. All right, we'll be watching to see what happens. Barrett, thank you.